Hey guys, this is Sheila with the Sprouted Plate. This is going to be the start of my stained glass unboxings that I'm so excited to get in the mail. I love finding artists that can actually do hand-blown rondels for the stained glass centerpieces. And I found this awesome guy on Etsy named Peter with Spirit Glass LLC. And he really worked awesome with me in finding what I needed. I left him a little message to show the love to tell him how excited I was and what I planned on doing with it, uh, which was center piecing in my stained glasses that I'm gonna be selling on my Etsy shop soon. So he had some beautiful hand-blown pieces that I just went gaga for. And um, I'm gonna show you what I got first. I found an awesome little vase that I'm gonna use as my oil dipper. And his shop is located out of Bradford, New Hampshire. He does amazingly fast shipping. I'm trying to do it without the glare of the light here. But this is so beautifully hand blown and so, so many beautiful colors in it that I'm just gaga over it right now. What do you guys think? I have my kids here telling, looking to see what I got in the mail because they're getting into glass with me too. So I thought I'd bring them on this adventure with me and we can try to record the process. So what do you guys think of this beautiful little hand vase? I it, like it. It fits right in the hand, it's so cute. I like it, not just because it's my favorite color, mm -hmm. but also it's really cool. And it's really cool. But and I'm gonna be adding this to my collection. What can you put in there? Of glass, you can put whatever you want in that imagination. Imagine what you can do with, with that stuff. But I'm personally going to use this as my oral zipper for my tools. I'm gonna put a little bit, a little cotton pad on the bottom, fill it up with some really good cutter oil, and then I'm going to dip my piece in here as I go, instead of using my beetle system that I'm using right now that gets filled with glass shards all day long. So the next really awesome thing that I was excited about were these rondos. Oh, he packed it good in here. All right, so we have this beautiful rose color rondel. Again, hand blown. The side is perfectly flat on the bottom to sit for stained glass. I have a little bit of an air bubble that adds character, but it's really, really beautiful. Just amazing piece of work right here. I can't wait to use that. This one is another piece that is absolutely stunning. And it has your blue saying that you like in here. What do you guys think of this one? I, li I like the rose one and that one. Yeah. I, I like that because um, I think the rose color is like rose gold and I like rose gold. Yeah. And also it has Zane's favorite color in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm liking it. Yeah, this will be a really nice focal point in the next piece I plan to do. I'm going to definitely try to come up with something beautiful with that. We also had an issue with one of the pieces that has a fine hairline crack in it. And Peter really worked with me in trying to get it fixed and corrected. It delayed the shipping a little bit, but the fact that he went out of his way to go ahead and try to fix the issue, besides letting me know that he couldn't, I was just so happy with his service, customer service. This is another one that's really awesome. It has like the white swirls in it on the clear background. Again, really, really beautiful and just simple work here. That's a little smaller than the I last like that one. one. It's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is another really great one. Bronze. Kind of looks like a little sunburst here. It kind of looks like this one. It actually has some pink in it. In the, uh, in the order that I did it, it said orange and pink in here. So this one's also very beautiful. Let's see what other goodies we got. What are these used for? These rondels are used for decorative pieces that you put either on stained glass or you can use a proper glass drill and put a little ribbon in and make a nice little ornament anyway. to give it as a gift. Yeah. Um, and also you can paint on it and do like a picture. You could do whatever it is you'd like. I didn't realize that it was like tie-dye. It looks tie-dye. But there's, remember those little glass jars that we had um, that you saw like frit, the little things of sand looking glass inside, the little chunks of glass. Yeah. What people do is they put this on beautiful pieces of uh, uh, 
of glass sometimes to change the color, but these were hand blown. So there's a whole nother, what's well, cobalt blue, oh. which is still very beautiful. That one's pretty. Yes, it is very pretty. And you're gonna break it. This one's a little thinner than the rest. But I like that one though. It's just very organic and just naturally beautiful. I just want a good one. Thank you, Sam. Make sure they're spaced out evenly. I like, I like that too. Peter did a fabulous job. Now this is the biggest one I got. This is the one I was waiting for. I plan on doing a really, really awesome piece that, looks really pretty. that incorporates a lot of different funky colors. Wow. Look how pretty this one is. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It definitely has some glitter in it I'm looking at. Can you guys see that little glimpse of glitter? Yeah. I think it's glitter. glitter. I gotta ask gold Peter, glitter. but gold this is absolutely stunning. I'm trying to get that ring away from the camera here. But look at all that. Absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to use that. That will be awesome. And I think that is it. That is the first and definitely not the last order I'm going to have with Spirit Glass LLC. So talk to you guys later. It's over Subscribe already. to my channel. Have a good day.